Hey guys, David Yates, what an amazing day. This is going home day for three of our amazing sea turtles. David Yates here from Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Our van's pulling up right now. Watch this amazing video about three sea turtles. We're about ready to release live. Stay tuned, watch this. Hey guys, David Yates back here live. Let's go see what's going on. We're releasing three sea turtles today. They have been rehabbed by our team. Here's our team right now. They're bringing the turtles out and their names are Echo, Papa, and Marigold. Believe it or not, Echo, Papa, and Marigold. And we're gonna walk out right now. We don't delay. Once we're ready to go, we put them right out in the Gulf. And there's Papa right there. And we're gonna carry out with our, we have our, our sea turtle team here carrying them out. And this is at Fred Howard Park, which is about 10 or 15 miles north of Clearwater beach and clear water marine aquarium we'll walk right out and we don't uh, it goes very quick again three sea turtles two are green sea turtles so papa and echo are green sea turtles they're endangered species they're the most common species in the gulf of mexico and marigold is a kemp's ridley which is the most critically endangered of the sea turtles right now and there are five species in the gulf these are two of the five species and uh, they're amazing turtles, incredibly exciting to, to see this happen. This is called Release Day, it's Going Home Day. We want to thank Duke Energy for their sponsorship of our program right here. So we have our team members, we'll take the turtles out and we'll get them into the Gulf of Mexico and uh, put them back home where they belong. So Echo and Papa are both green sea turtles, as I mentioned, and they're both endangered. And that means their species is decreasing, not increasing. And so when we get a chance to take these animals and get them well and give them back, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's exciting, inspiring. It's also a big deal. And Marigold is a Kemp's Ridley again, which is a critically endangered species, even more endangered than the green sea turtles. So when we get a chance to put a Kemp's Ridley back in its natural habitat, that is a big, big deal. And that is Marigold. So Marigold was found with injuries on her carapace, her top shell. Uh, we think it was likely a boat strike, so if you're a boater, boat careful. And we had to do some wound care for Marigold, the Kemp's Ridley, and the other two, Papa and Echo, both had low body temperatures and have the fibropapilloma virus. So here we go. We are going into uh, all three turtles will be put right back in as soon as we can. And our team members are very careful how they care of them. So here we go. And you notice there is a tag on each of their left flippers, and that's in, in case they get pulled out again for rehab, we will know who they are. So we have, uh, we are going home here, and again, this is just north of Clearwater area in an area called Tarpon Springs, great city, and an amazing park called Howard Park. So here we go back into the Gulf, and uh, she is going home and doing well. We're excited about this, it's a big day. So say bye, this guy's very simple. Place them in the water, then they do what they want. And that is Marigold, with, which has the, um, the shell damage to the carapace. And we did some wound care on Marigold. And uh, she is, there she goes, heading back out. And she is like, I'm gone, I'm out of here. So there you go, guys. All right, exciting. We got the crowd applauding. How cool is that? So if things go well, we'll never see her again. And now we have Echo and Papa, again, which are our green sea turtles. Uh, that uh, came actually a day apart. Here we go. This is Papa right here. This is Papa. So Papa is going home. Papa was found, a green sea turtle again. This is an endangered species going home. And uh, Papa was found the day after Echo. On see, Papa was found January 8th. Again, low body temperatures and fibropapilloma virus. That virus is common among sea turtles. It can actually kill them. Our job is to uh, get them well and get the tumors off and treat the fibropapilloma virus tumors they have. And get them. There goes Papa, so there you go. And now it is Echo. It is Echo's turn. So here we go from Papa to Echo. 
Again, found one day apart, same issues, low body temps and uh, also fibropapilloma virus. And uh, these are amazing animals. Again, these are endangered species. The green sea turtles are the most common species in the Gulf. And uh, they're amazing, amazing little animals. Here you go. So there you go. Papa, Echo, and Marigold are all out back to the wild. So there you go. How exciting is that? Very, very cool. So we're going to talk to Becca Riley and our team real quick. So Becca, tell us a little bit about Marigold. I'm curious about the amazing waterproof paste we put on Marigold. Actually, it was made by Included Honey. Tell us about how we did that with Marigold. Yes, so we use a waterproof bandage on any wounds that happen kind of on the carapace, the top shell or the plaster on the undershell. And it's a mixture of Ilex, uh, triple, antibi and triple antibiotic ointment, kind of like Neosporin, and then we added honey to it. So it was a interesting smelling mix. <laughs> Organic and natural, but it worked. And Marigold's will, and Marigold's back. So Marigold, Echo, and Papa are all gone. Guys, if you look, actually it's a great, this is the best part of our day, is the release day. But across the way, you can't see it too well from here, there is a, uh, about a mile away, there's an area that the county of Pinellas County donated to us. We're building a brand new cetacean and manatee, or dolphin and manatee rescue area. So we do releases right here. We'll have rescues right over here starting in about a few months. We're building a brand new area, uh, thanks to your support. So how cool is that? So we release turtles right here, and we can actually rescue and rehab dolphins and cetaceans just a mile away from here. By the way, thanks to Duke Energy. One last message, guys. What is this? This is a straw. And these, this is a paper biodegradable straw. So if you use straws, try not to use them. If you use them, don't use plastic straws. They're great enemies of these turtles. They can swallow them, ingest them. So if you use a straw, buy a paper biodegradable straw. You can buy them at Amazon, wherever you want. Use paper, biodegradable, not plastic, because plastic does kill. Thanks to Duke Energy, guys. Thanks for being here. It's an exciting day. Three turtles back home. Go to ccwinner.com. Learn more about our work of rescue, rehab, and release. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy the Florida scenery. Come see us.